So, kunwari ganito yung given. Um, given the hours of Bio, Marian, and Senji in watching TV or online videos, is there a significant difference between the hours spent of the three groups? Tapos, ito yung mga given natin na hours. Unang gagawin ay mag-formulate ng hypothesis. So, ang null hypothesis natin, ang magiging itsura, There is no significant difference between the hours spent of the three groups. Para naman sa alternative hypothesis, there is a significant difference between the hours spent of the three groups. Ngayon naman, para makuha yung alpha since wala namang nabanggit dito sa given kung ano yung alpha niya automatic yun ang magiging alpha is 0.05 para sa step 3 is hahanapin yung f grid para mahanap yung f grid dapat madetermine muna yung df between ang df between is k k is equals yung column ilan to tatlo. Bale, 3 minus 1. Column or groups yung k. So, 3 minus 1 is equals to 2. Ngayon, yung n is yung total lahat ng data. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 yan lahat. 5, 10, 15. 15 minus k. Ano ba yung k kanina? Yung k kanina is 3. Hindi 2. Kasi DF between yung 2. 3 yung K. So, ang DF within ay 12. Ngayon, nakompleto na yung DF between. Tapos, DF within. Pupunta tayo dun sa table para mahanap natin yung F grid. So, ang DF between ay yung sa taas. So, nasabi dito na DF between ay 2. Hanapin natin yung 2. Ayan yung 2. Then, DF within is 12. So, 2 and 12. So, ibig sabihin, ang F grid natin ay 3.89. Ngayon naman, ang gagawin natin ay hanapin yung F comp. Para mahanap yung F comp, kailangan ay MS between divided by within. Pero bago yun, dapat mahanap muna lahat ng mga value nito. So, mag-start tayo sa mga mean ng bawat class. So, para makuha yung mean ng bio, plus natin lahat, 10 plus 2 plus 2 plus 9 plus 9 equals then divided by 5 6.4 next sa so marion 2 plus 6 plus 6 plus 5 plus 9 divided by 5 56 5.6 pala 5.6 Next, sa Senji, 3 plus 7 plus 9 plus 1 plus 5 divided by 5 equals to 5. Ngayon, para makuha naman yung grand total is pag a lahat to, then divided by 15. So, 10 plus 2 plus 2 plus 9 plus 9, plus 2, plus 6, plus 6, plus 5, plus 9, plus 3, plus 7, plus 9, plus 1, plus 5, equals 2, then divided by 15. Ang sagot is 5.67. I-round off na natin yung dito. Ngayon, kukunin naman natin yung SS total 
para makuha yung SS total is x minus grand min then squared. Ngayon, ang given kanina na nakuha natin is 5.67. Ayan yung grand min natin. Kaya, 5.67 din. X, ito naman yung mga data. So, i-compute natin isa-isa. Ngayon, 10 minus 5.67 then squared. Ang sagot is 18.75. Next is 2 minus 5.67 squared 13.47 so, Pareho lang, kaya pareho lang yan ang magiging sagot. Next, 9 minus 5.67 then squared 11.09 2, ito lang kanina 13.47 ngayon 6 minus 5.67 squared 0 0.11 pareho lang then 5 minus 5.67 squared 0.45 Then, kanina 9 Pareho lang 11.09 Ngayon is 3 minus 5.67 Then, squared 7.13 Ngayon 7 minus 5.67 then squared 1.77 9 pareho lang 11.09 1 minus 5.67 squared 21.81 next 5 pareho lang 0 0.45 then, ngayon, ayan na siya. Kung napapansin mo, may space dito. Ibig sabihin, ito yung class A, ito yung class B, then ito naman yung class C. Ngayon, para makuha yung SS total, kailangan ay i-add to lahat. So, Pwede rin naman na i-add mo to, then sagot dito, i-add mo to, tsaka mo pag adin lahat. Pero, ako ganyan yung ginagawa ko. So, ngayon yung SS total ay 135.35. Ngayon naman, kukunin natin yung SS within. Yung kanina, yung sa grand mean, yung nandito, kaya pare-pareho. Pero ngayon, is yung mean na ng bawat class. Meaning, ito yung gagamitin dito. Ito yung gagamitin dito. Then, ito yung gagamitin dito. So, ngayon, sa class A, ang mean ay 6.4. Minus 6.4 squared. 6.4 squared. natin i-compute. So, 10 minus 6.4 squared 12.96 2 minus 6.4 squared 19.36 para lang. Then, 9 minus 6.4 
squared para ho lang. Ito yung sa class A. Sa class B naman tayo. 2 minus 5.6 squared 12.96 6 minus 5.6 squared 0 0.16 Pareho lang. Then, 5 minus 5.6 squared 0 0.36 then 9 minus 5.6 squared 11.56 to yung sa class B then last yung sa class C 3 minus 5 squared 7 minus 5 squared 9 minus 5 squared 1 minus 5 squared 5 minus 5 0 squared 0 Ngayon, add natin lahat para makuha yung SS within Dapat palaging mas mababa yung SS within sa SS total. Kapag mas naging mataas to sa SS total, ibig sabihin mali yung computation. So ngayon, para makuha naman yung SS between is SS total 135 minus 35 minus SS within. 130 minus 4. So... 135 minus 35 minus 130.4 equals to 4.95. Ngayon, na nakuha na natin yung SS between, kukuha na natin yung MS between. Para makuha yung MS between, SS between divided by DF between. Ayan yung DF between natin, yung SS between. The next naman is MS within is yung SS within divided by DF within. So, i-compute na natin. 4.95 divided by 2. 2.48. 130.4 divided by 12. 10.87 <clears throat> Ngayon, para naman makuha yung F comp ay MS between ay MS between ang oh, tama lang, MS between divided by MS within So 2 Point forty eight divided by ten point eighty seven. And I got I zero point twenty three. Mayan na nakuha na natin yan. Ang step five I e co compare yung F comp tapos F grid. So, ang F comp natin is 0 0.23 MS between 2.48 10 MS between 10.27 F comp natin ay 0 0.23 Then, F grid natin na nakuha kanina 3.89 Ngayon, kita naman na mas mataas si F grid Kaya, 0 0.23 less than 3.89 Kapag mas mataas si F grid kaysa kay F comp ang ibig sabihin ay i-a-accept si null 
natin i-reject si alternative ulat kapag mas mataas si F grid kay F comp ay i-accept si null then i-reject si alternative therefore ito na yung conclusion there is no significant difference in the R spent in watching TV or online videos of the three groups.